Hello students, this is Swati Deshpande teacher. Today I will be taking few more important sums from 5th standard scholarship mathematics section. See students, I have already uploaded 5 videos on important questions. Okay, so this is the 6th video. So I will be giving you all the links in the description box. Please check them in case you have not yet seen. Okay, let's go ahead. First sum will appear on your screen. How many kilometers will the train with speed 45 kilometers per hour cover from 8 a.m. to 12.20 p.m.? See what is the speed? Speed is 45 kilometer per hour. And what is the time here? Time. Time is from 8 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. 8 a.m. To 12.20 p.m. How much is the time span here? How to find out? You can do it with the help of fingers. Or if not, you can do it like this. 12.20 minus 8. 0, 0. So it is 4 hours 20 minutes. Okay? 4 hours 20 minutes. So here simple formula we need to use. We need to find out the distance. Here we need to find out the distance. What is the formula? Distance is equal to time into speed or speed into time. Okay. So in 4 hours, how much distance will it cover? If in 1 hour it can cover 45 kilometers. In 4 hours, how much distance will it cover? 45. 4 hours into 45. Time into speed that is 180 kilometers. This is okay, but this is not our final answer because we still need to find out how much distance will it cover in 20 minutes. Okay, how to find out that? Because they have given speed per hour, these are minutes. So, how to find out how much will it cover in 20 minutes? Very simple, convert this 20 minutes into hour. How to do that? 20 upon 60. See, 60 minutes means 1 hour. Out of that 60 minutes, we are considering only a part of it, that is 20. So, 20 out of 60. When we want to convert any minutes part into hour, we need to just divide that number by 60. Don't do the division, let it be like this. And then you multiply by speed. Means, in short, we are trying to find out this much time, in this much time, how much will it cover with the speed of 45? Okay, so time into speed, again, same like this. So, now do it. 1s are, 3s are, 15. So, 15 kilometer. So, we need to add this 15 here. So, total distance will be 195 kilometers. Very, very easy students. If this would have been 8 to 12, then it was very simple sum, 4 into 45. 180 would have been our answer. Here we are concerned because of this 20 minutes. Don't be afraid of that 20 minutes. Just convert that into R because this is in R. How to convert that? By division by 60. Don't do the division. Let it be like that. And then use this formula. Time we have got 60 upon 20 upon 60. Multiply by speed. That is 45. Do the calculation. You will get in that 20 minutes how much distance will, be, will it cover. So it is 15 kilometers. So add it to that earlier 180. Our answer is 195 kilometers. See one simple formula, distance is equal to time into speed and we have got our marks, two marks in the pocket, isn't it? Okay, chal, aage badte hai. Students, I have written the next sum on the board, they have given this and we are supposed to find out what is the value of this square. Remember, this is in the form of mixed fraction, don't get confused. This is not mixed fraction. This is 28 multiplied by 2 upon 21. There is a difference. Most of the students will take it as mixed fraction here. Because this is mixed. No. 
this is definitely a mixed fraction but this is not please be careful there here we need to just solve it this is 28 upon 1 7 4 are 7 3 are no more division possible so 4 into 2 8 upon 3 that is equal to 2 box upon 3 now let's convert this into mixed because this is in mixed this is improper so let's convert it how to do the conversion in case you don't know please check out my uh, video on uh, fractions okay so this is 2 2 upon 3 when we do the conversion it is 2 2 upon 3 this is box upon 3 so obviously box is equal to 2 very very easy and interesting sum only you need to be very very careful right in the beginning this is not a mixed fraction this is a multiplication of an integer with a proper fraction let's go ahead students read the next sum properly the length of chord PQ in the circle with center O is 4.2 cm what is the length of the greatest chord of this circle I have drawn the circle already on the board see PQ is the chord which is 4.2 cm given in the problem right and they have indicated these three sides are equal with the small lines here means all of them are 4.2 so I am writing it here 4.2 cm OP OP is what radius of the circle which is 4.2 cm right because this is same as this and this is radius so radius we have got it as 4.2 centimeter what are they asking us greatest chord you should know students greatest chord means diameter if you don't know this you won't be able to proceed so diameter is two times radius right two times radius is diameter so we have got the radius now radius is this is radius right so it is 4.2 so greatest chord will be 2 times 4.2 that is 8.4 centimeter very very easy here parts of circle you should know properly what is radius what is the relationship of a radius and a diameter when these lines are indicated what does that mean that all these sides are congruent they are equal so we are taking help of that PQ to find out OP once you get OP that is the radius we can find out the greatest chord that is a diameter we can name this as R so RP is a diameter so RP will be 4.2 plus 4.2 that is 8.4 centimeter very very easy isn't it Read the next sum. What is the expenditure on milk if half liter of milk at rupees 40 per liter is bought from 7th May till the end of June? See what is the rate per liter? It is rupees 40. Right? Per liter. How much milk? is ordered every day only half liter so half liter will be 40 upon 2 that is 20 rupees right so every day's expense is rupees 20 now next job is to find out how many days have we ordered the milk from 7th May till end of June that is 30th June so we need to calculate or count how many days are there See from 7th May we had ordered the milk. So up, up to 6th there was no order of milk. So out of this total days of May for 6 days we have not ordered milk. So we are minusing those 6 days. So here it is 25 days of May. June entire month we are ordering so 30. So in all days are 55. So all these 55 days we have to pay 20 rupees, 20 rupees, 20 rupees that is total bill or total expense 
will be number of days into rate that is 55 days and every day the expense was or the cost of milk was 20 rupees because only half liter so it is 1100 rupees our answer is 1100 rupees isn't it easy very very easy at the time time of examination they will change this they will change this they may say uh, one and a half liter they may say one liter only that much change the procedure is same they may change the day how to count the days that procedure is same okay chal aage badhte hai read the next sum properly the cost of two notebooks and five pens is rupees 86 and that of eight notebooks and five pens is rupees 194 find the cost of one notebook and one pen these students they have given two notebooks plus five pens 5p we are taking that is equal to 86 and eight notebooks plus five pens is equal to 194 they have given this same for a reason observe whatever they have given 5p 5p it is same and that is for a reason that is to make your work easy so take advantage of that now 8 is more or bigger than 2 so what is the next job is we should minus this first equation from the second equation so that 5p minus 5p p will go only n will remain so it will be very easy for us to find out the value of n so let's do it if this is equation 1 and this is 2 I am doing 2 minus 1 because 8 is bigger than 2 otherwise I would have done 1 minus 2 right so let's do it plus 5p is equal to 194 and 2n plus 5p is equal to 86 when we do minus all each term will change its sign so 2n is plus so it will become minus 5p is plus so it will become minus 86 is also plus so it will become minus now let's do it 8n minus 2n that is 6n 5p minus 5p so it will be 0 and 194 minus 86 it will be 108 so 6n is equal to 108 now it is simple n is equal to 108 divided by 6 so it is 18 1 n that is cost of one notebook is 18 rupees we have found out now substitute this 18 in any of this doesn't matter so let's do it 2 n why are we substituting because we need to find out the value of p also right n to mila p ka we find out karna padega na right? 2n is 2 into 18 plus 5p p abhi tak malum nahi hai let's calculate this 36 plus 5p is equal to 86 5p is equal to 86 this will become minus so minus 36 so 5p is equal to 50 so, so p is equal to 50 upon 5 that is equal to 10 now we have got n is equal to 18 p is equal to 10 now what are they asking what is the cost of find the cost of one notebook and one pen one notebook is 18 plus one pen is 10 so total is 28 so 28 rupees is our answer very very interesting isn't it students read the next sum properly the perimeter of the given square ABCD is 48 centimeter what is the area of the shaded region See, this is a square ABCD. They have given the perimeter. Perimeter is equal to 48. Right? 48 centimeter. Okay. Perimeter of a square means what? What is the formula? You are supposed to know. 4 into side. 4 into side is equal to 48. So, side is equal to what? 48 upon 4. That is 12. Why are we trying to find out this side? Because they have asked us the area and to know the area we must know the side that's why we have found out this side with the help of perimeter 
okay they will give you whatever is required don't worry about that once we know the side what is the formula of area of a square side square or side into side so it is 12 square that is 144 centimeter square please be careful here area is always in squares but this is the area of entire square do we require that no we want only this and this which is exactly the half of entire square if you imagine put this here then only this portion will be shaded and this entire portion will be blank imagine so if you observe properly you will know that shaded portion is exactly half of the entire square so area of the shaded portion will be half of shaded portion area will be half of 144 क्योंकि ये पूरे स्क्वायर का है, तो उसका हाफ निकालना है, so it is 72 सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर, this is our answer, very very easy, isn't it? Okay, let's go ahead. Students, I have written this sum on the board, read it properly. Five upon hundred, half means into nine hundred, plus eight upon hundred into 1 to 5 0 ok so board mass this is one and this is another one so let's do it 1 1 0 cancel what is remaining 5 into 9 plus here 1 0 gone 5 2 zar, 5 1 uh, 5 2 zar, and 5 5 zar. Then 2 1s are 2 4s are it. So 4 into 25 will remain here. Okay. First do this 45 plus this 100. So our answer is 145. Nothing great in this. Whatever they had given we translated that into mathematical language. Then as per board mass, we first did this, we got this, ultimately 45. Then we did this, we got this, that is 100. Then we added 145. Very, very interesting and easy sum. Students, as far as important sums are concerned, sky is the limit. I can just upload every day one one video. Then also sums will not get over. Right? Definitely I will make another video on important questions and students again I repeat Pehle wale jo videos hai, 5 videos are there. Please see them. This is the 6th one. Okay? And in case you enjoy my videos then don't forget to share with your friends. More and more friends. And in case you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel as soon as possible. I will come with the next video very very soon. Till then, study well and very important thing is enjoy studying. Bye.